thanks for coming to our channel. I'm Michael Cassidy. We're going to be doing a woman's shortcut today around here with a nice point. Cut close, fade it in completely on the side, a little longer on top. Uh, if you enjoy this channel, see something here, you uh, can uh, maybe learn something off this channel. Subscribe to our channel, please. Starting out with a three blade, going underneath. Just going to go ahead and get this out of the way, a half an inch blade. Right to start with, you to get it out of the way. Right here too. Go ahead and get some of this out of the way. Mother Clipper. Clipper, that's a little weak. Got picked up the wrong one. some of this out of the way where I can deal with it. Fur it out a little bit here. Country folks say. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
this hair cuts long enough, they just, it's just kind of a standard. We do it, we do it for years. Nice looking short cut. One of the guys on there is barbers that think that you ain't supposed to use uh, everything's supposed to be cut with a clipper, but you know, some of the stuff we do now. When I first started cutting hair, we didn't even use clippers. Back in 1970, uh, about 1980, we didn't use no clippers. Really? No such thing as no clipper haircut. Somebody asked before Buzz, I didn't know what it was. Buzz is just a, a Buzz haircut, like a short haircut all over for a man. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what it was. Now, I had a Buzz when I was young, plenty of them, but. Uh, I didn't know what it was because it was out of style, you know. Yeah. And all we did was scissor cut, and we didn't go to school where you you don't want to go to school where they just taught you how to use clippers. Did you want to go make no living? Hmm. That's what they, a lot of these I know the young bucks coming along now. They think, hey man, you know, he's probably using clippers on everything, but they don't realize there was no such thing as clipper cutting back when I started. It was just yeah. scissor cutting. You want to go to a barber school that can teach you how to use shears, a razor, do do layer yeah. haircuts, you know, do stuff like. Uh, the Gibb brothers long haircuts and those other rock and roll type, type guys will wear layer cuts. Didn't make a living if you just use clippers. Ain't nobody to make a living doing it. But now we do use clippers on about everything now, a lot of lot of cuts. I knew the guy had been cutting hair about five or ten years. I knew I knew what happened to him. He was talking, you know. He was yeah. he's putting that on people using you know shears and not using the clippers on everything, you know. He didn't know where we came from. He thought we, was, we must be a beautician or something, you know. Yeah. If he came along thirty years ago, he'd been trying to go to a school where he could teach you how to use shears. He wouldn't want to go to a school where they just use clippers. That's true. That's right. So you, I knew he was just kind of a novelist type person when he was doing that talking, you know. Yeah. He didn't come along when I came along. I'll be with you in a bit, right? How you doing, man? Give me a little bit, I'll be with you. Okay, now what I've done is took the tool and a quarter, I went ahead and blow dried it, used a curl iron, of course, and I'm going to work in here and fade this in, which I've started with a two and a quarter, two and a half in here. I'm going to texturize some up in here too, also. Let me get me a three blade now, come in here and work this in just a little bit. What I'll do is taking this weight out here and I'm leaving it right here where it changes at to blend right here. Of course y'all know that if you've been cutting hair a while, but uh Maybe some of the young guys coming in from barber school or beauty school.
Might want to know how to use clippers on these cuts. Kind of see what we're doing a little bit. Come on this side. Let's keep whittling on until I get it like I want. I think that's basically what you got to do in haircut. Just, that's right. Just keep working on it. Get that right for it. You just keep staying with it. I think this looks better on you than that surfer cut. I think mm -hmm. this lays better. I think you'll enjoy this better. <coughs> I'm going to texturize some of that thickness out okay. a little bit. <coughs> Cross it back over with these clippers. If I do this clipper, it's going to be smoother for wherever I do. So let me just kind of go back in here, fade it in where I'm getting my cut at with the scissors. Busy, it was so busy. Okay, let's go in here. Let's go a little bit. I need to get some of this out. Let's come in here and texturize some. So when you don't thin that like I thin it, well, everybody's just a little bit different. Everybody does it different. Yeah. It's not wrong. The book, matter of fact, the book says that the instructor's right, equally right, the way he shows you. Mm -hmm. Get enough of this texture out of it into it where we can actually have a soft look what we're looking for uh, 
so it's a heavy looking. And really, if people are not using the thinners and using texturizing, point cutting, mm -hmm. razor cutting, they're missing it in hair cutting. Because you can't get the looks with the haircut unless you do some of that. you got to do it. The scissors alone and clippers is not enough. you got to learn to use your thinners, texturize, point cut, and razor cut. If you do that, you can do something with it. Excuse me. I notice when I pick this comb up, if I get a straight through here, that comb, that hair should be straight right yeah. through there, just the same way. I lift it up, just like that, I'm holding that comb. If it's above that straightness, if it's yeah. not straight through there, mm -hmm. when I cut it, it's not going to be right. So that's one way to tell. You can just anything that's above that, when I lift straight up, mm -hmm. then I'll know for sure if it's right. Okay. But I notice a lot of people, when they cut hair like this, they never do this right here. And you're never going to know if it's straight or right. flat there. If you do that, it's going to be, you're going to have a lot of ridges there. Haircut's not going to last but a week or two. Haircut's going to last six weeks, eight weeks here, this haircut we are. You know, to, if you want to keep it in the same style. Because I've got it cut, you can handle it. You know? But uh, I've noticed this now, if you cut and it is straight through here, get all this out. Through here. Did you get down, please, man? Mm -hmm. Okay. I like the kind of pointed look back here on the back of your head too. Mm -hmm. Let me, uh,
going to show you all bar we use a curling iron a little bit to what y'all think about it. with a curl line so I got to do much with it now. A little cabinet right there. I think it's from my headband. <laughs> <laughs> there. My headband pushes it up. Yeah. <laughs> that happens. I'm gonna work on that bitch a little bit. Let it stay up here a little bit longer on this side if you're that right here. Didn't leave it long so we didn't change it much, but I was just going over it a little bit. Should get a little heat here.
Thanks for watching, folks. We got a, a scissor haircut, a three blade, a two, a three eighths, or two and a two and a half, a four blade scissor cut, texturized point cut. If you enjoyed this uh, video, subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Okay, let's look at the cut a little closer now. Here we go. Okay. Let's look at the back. Spread out a little bit. I want to put that camera back on and show it just one more time. Okay, we appreciate y'all looking.